Council, and Amy is the chair of the Plain Language Group. And the Federal Register, and Amy especially the last few years, we've labored in the vineyard in this whole area of plain language, uh, simple communication, trying to take uh, complex legal issues and principles and convey them in a way that the public can grasp. And that's an ongoing challenge, as was pointed out. This was begun many, many years ago in the 60s and 70s. And we've still got, a, obviously, a very, very long way to go. Can we connect this to rulemaking some fashion, Amy? Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, Scott, you know each other? We will. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. And then finally, I, I would like to just offer to Paul a few tokens, mm -hmm. since it is our 75th anniversary of our appreciation for being here today. Uh, this is a uh, reproduction of the original Federal Register from 1936, and we have a commemorative Wait. coin. And again, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And then <laughs> just one last comment. Uh, Doug Swanson and the archive staff have entered into an agreement with C-SPAN to record these uh, lectures that we're having and to uh, broadcast them on C-SPAN. So I think that might respond to one of the questions regarding how we might be able to get this word out in an effective and, uh, and more forthright way. Can and I then, one yes. Yes, we, we are, uh, through the Government Printing Office's Depository Library Program, we are a very active participant in the library program. Each, uh, each congressional district has a library that's identified by the Congress and the GPO as a depository for all important, essential government publications. And they're very active in our electronic uh, products as well. And I'll just recognize uh, Jim Bradley from the Government Printing Office who's here today. He's in charge of government publications for GPO. So we've, we've had a, a long-standing and successful relationship with GPO in terms of getting uh, those products out into the libraries. Again, we thank you all for coming. It's uh, been a pleasure to have you here this morning. Thank you very much this afternoon.